Have you seen a sick person before and you wept? If you haven't, if you have not seen somebody in the condition before that broke your heart, there are many other things you may do, but it's not ministry. And you may have faith to raise the dead, but you may not see much in your ministry. Because compassion is one of the greatest triggers. Love is one of the greatest triggers. This is why most times ministers go out of their way. You see the man of God literally drink and most times it's the family that suffer. Never find yourself dishonoring the wife of a man of God because you don't know what she goes through. The man goes out driven by compassion. He dispenses his all and when he comes back home he's drained. Even if the wife says welcome sometimes it's a problem. The food the woman serves that has gone cold before he came. If, it, if she just said, I served it one hour ago, it didn't come. Don't you know I'm around? Are you not supposed to warm it again? Sorry, sir. It's not the man's fault either. He's drained. And when he's drained, all the virtues can no longer stand. So it's the worst of him that the wife and children sees. That's why you see most times, it takes a godly woman to raise the children of the man of God because the man never will and most times if the woman doesn't do a good job the children will be wayward and you see why the children of pastors most times never do well because the man by reason of compassion is spent on the people he sent to you are a young minister never marry because you love her Make sure she's a home builder. Because you will not have time to raise your children. If you truly love the people, you will be spent. Okay, all these young ladies that their greatest strength is their look. That's their worst. Your weakest strength is actually your looks. Because by the time you are 35, 40, your look will already begin to fail you. It is the ornament of the soul. Modesty, character, the life of the spirit. That's truly your greatest strength. So if you are a young lady, take time to build your spirit. Because your husband will need it. The destiny of the children depends on your work. It was Bishop Oedipo that stood publicly and said, these children... This is the woman that raised them. It doesn't have a hand in it. All the glory goes to her. And what a, what a job she did. These young men can power the whole system. And move it forward. His sons, to, in my own estimation, are some of the most outstanding ministers in this generation. I attended Shiloh, I think, three years ago. And they called, they called the first son to give a charge for 15 minutes. And what I heard in 15 minutes. <laughs> what I heard in 15 minutes. I stood up and said, Lord, help me. I know this person is ahead of me, but by the time I get here, let me have something to say. Because the woman did a thorough job. Meanwhile, Bishop is everywhere. Even when the wife was afflicted, both of them came together and agreed that let it not affect what you do. said in one year he was in over 27. The wife was dying. The wife called him and agreed with him. Let this not affect what you are doing. And it's not just, I want to be everywhere. No. I followed certain people and Bishop is one of them. Many times, he said while they were young, he will be in church and see somebody that looks downcast. After service, say come. While he's preaching with fire. Then in Kaduna. And say come. And he comes and he empties his pocket and give him the whole money. What happens when you get home? If you don't love the people, you have no ministry to them. He said at one point, God told him to empty everything and the wife just put to bed with the first son. 
and he emptied everything and there was no food in the house. It's not just I hear God, I hear God. If you don't love the people, you can't do it. And God told somebody to empty all the baby food in the shop. And somebody brought 24 cartons of baby milk. And both adults and children were living on baby milk for two weeks. When they had one room, him, his wife, and six other persons were living in that one room. So he will say humorously, that anything you have to do if you have a visitor it must end before 5 p.m. because 5 p.m. the whole family will come together and it was one room him and his wife and six other strange young men say no we, we want private life uh, you know it's a private life uh, the ministry stop in the office <laughs> it's not this kingdom anywhere kingdom exists is communal life that's why you see the Muslim living together you can't do kingdom and not have communal life. He said day to day they went from one home to another. Breaking bread and they were in prayers. One home to another. You can't do it unless you love the people. Because my father and the Lord, Apostle Arum, sometimes you come to his house. And there are 40 people in the house. If you reach the door, you will see close to 30 different shoes. They didn't come to visit. Most of them are living there. And he called his wife and told her, there's one thing I can promise you. Our bedroom, nobody will go there. But the remaining part of this house, it belongs to us and the body of Christ. <laughs> See, you think, it, <laughs> if you don't love the people, better wait. Let the love of God be shared abroad in your heart. Because the love of God will constrain you that's kingdom. Kingdom is communal living. You know, um, uh, we can do everything for the people, uh, we, but it's not money the people are looking for. It's God. And sometimes the way they will see God is by observing you. So God will allow them to come close. That's why ministry is sacrifice. There are essential qualities and God sees these things. And this does not in any way undermine the place of structure and administration there has to be structure there has to be administration because sometimes people are untrained sometimes people are unreasonable the bible said abraham had 318 trained servants in his house those are men not the women and children 318 he could carry people from his house and go to war but there was structure because when Sarah said that the bond woman and her child should not be part of the inheritance, God said, obey her. So there has to be some level of understanding and structure. So I'm not saying as a young minister, you go and kill your wife and say, no, that's not what I'm saying. There has to be structure. And primarily, there should be love for the people. 